we are here with another show match number nine. Um, we are here with a tournament team, which is Voltero, um, Pyros, and Zap. And then we have the opposite team, Vesh, Gengar, and Eli. Um, Vesh probably ha also has a team already, but you know, they couldn't be here. And we have two free agents, hot free agents, Gengar and Eli. Um, Eli is 2 0 right now, and Gengar this is his first time. And thank you for the new people for showing up and trying this idea. Um, hopefully, we can make it into something cool. Um, but we will get into this. Um, Voltero, your team can pick first. What do you guys want to do for game one? Huh? <laughs> watch, watch the Discord stream. Watch the Discord stream. Come on. On the stream. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> uh oh, yo, give me, give me hourglass. Hourglass? Okay. Alright. And I don't know who has the captain, the orange team, but do you guys want to say what you guys like? Want to communicate real quick? Vesh, you like, good guy? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think know, we're gonna no. take Colossus. Take Colossus for game two? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. And you guys get to ban a game of, or a map you don't want to play. What would that be? Which of these do not look good. <laughs> we're, we're, we'll ban Underpass. Underpass? Alright. And Voltaire, your team gets to ban one. Which one do you guys not want to play? You guys, that you guys what, can what communicate do do? this. If you guys uh, I, I don't feel like playing Cosmic. Cosmic. Is that the big that's one? Yeah, game. nah. Yeah, get that out. <laughs> okay, Cosmic is. <laughs> and you guys also get to pick game four. Ooh. Pyros. How am I picking? Uh, let's do Basin. Why not? Basin? Probably no one's picking RMP, even though you guys were strategizing just then. Oh, <laughs> RMP. That's true. It's gotta be champion match, though. Very true. Unless it gets banned, but we'll see. Game four. What do you guys want to do? Orange team? Um, we'll pick it. Fucking, uh... You got barricade or RMP corridor. Yep, alright. Corridor. Then we just have, uh, corridor, galleon, barricade, RMP. No, wait, no. Wait, what? Wait. 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 Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Barricade, Galleon, and RMP. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Andy. That's wild. What are we banning in Orange Team? Oh, um. <laughs> Shit, I don't even know. What one? Galleon. We're banning Galleon. Galleon? Alright. So, are we banning boys? Barricade or RMP? Uh, shoot. I don't know. You guys just said you wanted to keep RMP as the champion match. Did you know? Right, ban the other one. I, I ban the other one. one. Yeah. Ban metal. Right. Yeah, ban Barricade. Right, right, right. <laughs> that one. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. Here we have, we have a series now. Good job. Good work. Good work. We, we got there. There's a lot of effort, Yippee. but we're here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so we will do <laughs> no we will do hourglass game one plus game two basin corridor then rmp uh, make sure for the last match you guys do have custom apps on for this one we will have custom apps off for like the first four hey. okay. thank you thank you thank you um <laughs> we'll get into it you guys can go to your calls i'm gonna stop pestering you we'll get into it good luck all right, all right. thank you yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I should have this soundboard disabled. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, that was all right. That was the most interesting start to the series, uh, a series we've had before. And as you can tell, chat, our brains are a bit dead. So bear with so, us here. Especially, especially yours, all right? Especially mine. You know, things, things just be happening like that. But game one, we are headed to we'll have him, we'll have him leave real quick i just i just told him it'll, it'll kick him out yeah try to leave try to change the maps all right but i will glass it is for game one let's see how quick they can get into this i only hear blood <laughs> <laughs> dog it. I, dog it. i'm the chat reader here 
Yeah. Thank you, thank you, chat reader. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, you know, chat, you, I'm kind of referencing the VOD too, but, um, you know, I, I'm just referencing you. You must feel very special. But... Do you love me? Yes, <laughs> it's especially you. Of yes, course, you are course. proud. You, you, you've, done, you've done a great job and you're very proud of you. Keep on going, champ. You got this. All right, we should be getting in here. We have a series on our hands and a very good one. Um, or yeah, it could be a good one. We'll, we'll, we'll see just how well it goes. So let's get into it. Game one, Voltero team versus Vesh's team. And like we mentioned before, Team Voltero is a tournament team. Team Vesh is a, kind of a, just a band of people that got together to face off against this team and get some reps in before the tournament because um, we couldn't find another full tournament team available tonight and wait that one's just gonna fall through Eli the man that is 2-0 already and I think he has the best record in the lobby is gonna push the put that one away <laughs> this is app is gonna have a little bit of a miss there and yeah it'll be interesting to see <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how well these players adapt to this um, format it's gonna be a bit weird but we hope they have fun You know, just as as much fun as they can, you know, especially some of these, you know, renowned players, you know, surprise me, we, we still got the India, which I'm very happy about. You know, just going to see just what kind of wizardry they can just pull out their hats. Of course, of course, Pyros. Now, the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's very weird going from wall to wall here, or floor to wall or whatever, surface to surface, because it's, it's odd. It is an odd map to be on. Hourglass, I mean... If the, even the corners are messed up, they're just... It, well, I mean, we'll see. I don't, I don't think anyone on this... Maybe Eli has played this? I'm not I'm not too sure. Maybe Vesh... It, it's kind of it's kind of, it's kind of crazy up in here, but... We do have Voltero with a shot to be saved from Vesh. Now Zap on the pressure for the first time in this series, but can't get it past Gengar. Gengar can't get the clear. And it's very hard to get the clear, just like Corridor on this map, because, you know, midfield is a smaller margin to get the ball through so we'll see how that fares for these two teams i mean i think they'll start to see little by little how it's gonna be difficult what's gonna you know help them and just you know as they try to adapt we'll see and you know sometimes for, for these first timers it's gonna be a bit weird because when i used to play on these non-standard maps just try to get the read just get the feel out the first game it's gonna be a bit awkward then Believe it's going to be smooth sailing, but honestly, though, one goal to for the orange side. And we're only two minutes into this, and not much has been seen. Yeah, as players just adapt, we will see. Ooh, okay, a couple misses. Vesh pulls a shot out, but it's going to be saved there from Pyros. Put there with a whiff. Pyros off to his zap post. But, okay, a challenge, but. Oh wait, the fake to Voltero! Can't get it! And it's gonna be a clear now. Voltero and the Zapdos. Actually, long teammates. Now they're not anymore, but they were long-standing teammates for the entire last Rocket League esports season. Going through the qualifiers and got pretty far each time with that roster. Now looking for more and Voltero off the ceiling and finds the way into the back of the net here. And just takes the space and yeah, Vesh fall off the post early, couldn't get it, and we are tied up here, 1-1. One, one. On time, that's all you need, just a little bit of space, and Valtero, he's just going to make quick work of it. Putting his team on his back, just tying this bit, slow thing up, but also, that could be another chance, but Ooh. ball off filler. Zapdos is there, but nobody's there to follow it through. Now the ball's rushing back with the blue side. It's still in a dangerous spot. This could be a chance, but Otero is there. Gonna relieve some of that pressure. That does try to get clear. Oh wait, that that fight play back net. That's possibly is, but no, but we're starting to see some sparks flying a bit. Gengar has to clear to his own backward, but Pyros is up for it. Pyros with the drop down and scores. And Team Vesh cannot do much there. The pressure stacks up 
and it's just going to be a lethal touch there underneath Gengar. Gengar thought he had the read, was confident about it going off the backboard, but found nothing. That is Team Voltero's lead now. Let's see how they may be able to extend it. Try to extend it, try to hold on to it, the name of the game in the long run. Approach about the minute 30 mark. Only three goals into this map, but honestly, though, this map is weird. Eddie clear is dangerous, but you see a Zapdos just going, trying for the full forward drill, but nothing able to make it mark and Vesh. This could be the breakaway, but he's absolutely getting bumped by Pyros, and Zapdos is there for the save. Hero can't read, but it's going to leave it for a Zapdos. A Zap can't find the read, neither can Pyros, but be two fakes leading up to Voltero strike on the net. And as a two-goal lead now for Team Voltero. And as usual, I have to ask you, what are your predictions going into the series? Uh, God, God, God. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say Team Voltero wins the 3-1. 3-1, 3-2 you mean? Uh, oh, you, you mean you mean wins the series three one? Yeah, it's win the series three one. Okay, okay. Oh, we didn't mention that they play all five games. I missed a lot of things I'm noticing when I was talking to them. Could have mentioned, but hey, look at this though. Team Vesh on the counter attack. Long clear out to Gengar. Gengar just has to put it at home. That cannot reach it. And hey, they found their way back a little bit. But let me start my prediction here before they interrupt us again. I'm gonna say Voltero's team three zero. But I think Team Besh will get two back and find their way three two. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't think they're gonna be too strong. Team Voltero, I mean Voltero and Zap have the chemistry. Pyros and Volt have a bit of chemistry. I mean, and it's just a strong roster too. So I think it's be Team Voltero series. But really, anything can happen in this. And as we know, Vesh and Eli have both played maps before, so I think that gives them a little bit of advantage. But I mean. We're gonna have to see. It's it's so random sometimes. Especially you don't know who's gonna peek oh, on this map. Wait, hold on. Gengar is there. Gengar, he's just gonna tie this up. What just happened? Voltero, he tried to get the clear, but the demo just leads everywhere. And Voltero couldn't quite get the read on it. Gengar, he's just gonna come away and tie this up. We're about to, ready to head off to the next game, but well, we're still here. And. Maybe in overtime, lingering, but Vesh is going to put this to Gengar. Unexpected chemistry between this orange side. I think Eli and Vesh have played one series together with Spoods, but with Gengar as the different man in the roster, we will see how well it fares, but that's a great touch from Vesh. Otero deals with a, with a touch, but Vesh still putting on pressure. Zapdos cannot do much here, and... Oh, wait, has the clear. Maybe a follow from Pyros. Still up here. And, oh, we almost, gosh, we almost have a roll one. Gengar, trying to keep it out. And Eli, huge bump of Voltero. <laughs> and Voltero is not happy about that. But we are at overtime in game one. But after what felt like a long zero second to hold, they just kept that ball up. But honestly, though, not expecting the head off it's overtime. We're about to write this game off, but... Team Vesh, we're just able to bring it back, and Team Voltero was trying to reclaim this victory that they should have had, and Voltero, he could put it away, but Vesh is there, not laying it up, and Zappi tried to get the redirect, but nothing's going to happen for him, but that ball is just sticking onto the orange side. They cannot relieve pressure, but, oh, a great touch from Gengar, but that is going to take this flip reset to Voltero, no, can't reach him. And now maybe Orange can break out Vesh, the man from Poland, read off the pillar, but cannot put it through. Still, the struggle from both sides to put another goal in to seal the deal. Maybe we see these teams getting more comfortable on this map, and now it's just going to be a name of who plays the better defense. Uh, you saw right there, amazing play. The demo was almost able to connect, but that could be the breakaway, but... Zap, he's there, able to get back, getting bullied, but is able to find that clear and that ball. It could be interesting to stay on the blue half, but, but Ooh. Eli, 
He wanted to end it, but the defense is standing strong. Zep has a clear. Eli meets it, but straight to Voltero. Have to be careful. Oh, double clip, but this may be good. Gendar, no post. Then Voltero with the clear. Can't keep it out. Eli looking for Vesh. No, still the defense holds up from either side. And we are still goalless in this overtime. I do not know how we are still... Do not have a goal for either side. So many opportunities. Basically an open net, but the accuracy is just not there now. Break our way off to the other end. Can a goal finally have it? No, with that hinge. Nothing's going to come forth with it, but... Team Voltero, this could be their opportunity. Voltero, he's just going to pop it up. Gengar, going to get the clear. Hyros trying to work Voltero. Voltero's there, but Voltero is just not there. Not able to get the touch, but Team Voltero, they're just trying to keep Team Vesh on their own half. Yeah, I'm happy wondering how serious he's people are taking this now, but wait, Zep with the Voltero back to Pyros. Oh my gosh. They're going to put it through in overtime and a great touch here from Zep to Voltero. Oh my gosh, beautiful and almost went in, but Pyros there with the help in two minutes and a half in overtime. We have a game one victory for Team Voltero. That's all like forever. And honestly though, that touch though, I think Voltero's going to be thankful that touch went that way because if that shot was on target i believe it was veg there eli whichever one it was was going to get that touch over so that touch that hit off the little post that was most likely the difference right there <laughs> all right it looks like all the teams are good yeah well that seems like it all right and oh <laughs> i don't know what's happening in chat right now they're having fun, that's what's happening. We are headed to Colossus. Basically, the inverted hourglass map. So, we'll see how this fares. I think this is the better of the two days. I don't know if you'd agree with me on that. I don't like hourglass. I don't. But it is, I think, a top nine map. Um, debatably. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, apparently, players do think it's a top nine map. That's why it is in our pool. It's up to the players, really, at the end of the day. What is the nine maps we take to the tournament? And, I mean, that's still adapting. That's still adapting. We're still figuring out um, the, the perfect pool, really. The pool that everyone wants and um, thinks is best. So, we'll see. But that is a game one victory for Team Voltero. And we are headed to game number two. Game number two, and, well... Honestly, though, and uh, things are pretty good. Okay, okay. Things are coming back down. Okay. Okay. That was a bit, a bit weird, but honestly, though, it still is just fine. But honestly, though, Sim, after watching that first that first game, what are you starting to think of both of these two teams? Oh, Wait, my hold gosh. On. Before we talk about everybody else, Volterra once again opening up the score line. Voltero just downfield, double tap to himself, and that is a highlight play right there from Man Volt. Big man getting a goal early. That's what his team needs to get ahead and win this series early. And maybe they can make it happen further. Ooh, okay, a little, little difficult here, but hey, making things work and teams connecting. And I think these players will like this map better. I mean, the pillars are bigger, like the big, the biggest pillars besides the actual pillars map, the map named pillars. Uh, I think it's a lot easier to hit, a lot easier to utilize, and the map shape is just a lot nicer too. So I think this will be better for everybody. But hey, we'll see how it rolls. Lothero still trying to push it through, but Eli still has his eye on the ball. Depth, it's a touch. Oh, but a long clear and no one in net. Vesh is gonna find the long field shot. And it is 1-1. One, one. What happened? Well, it looked like a little bit of overcommit, but honestly, though, can you really call it an overcommit? There's two big poles blocking your rotation spot, so you have to go around it, and that's going to cause just a bit of just long clear goals happening. Ooh, Eli gets pushed to Vesh. Vesh downfield to Gengar. Doesn't even need to. It's just straight in. And the Eli to Vesh pass 
paid off because it beat Pyros and Volterra and left no one in net. Gengar didn't have to touch it, but was there if it was going to miss. And we have a switch up here as Team Vesh has taken over the the series here now, or the game two, I should say. Have the lead. Yeah, a little, little rewitten from Alaska. But Ooh, Pyros wait. is there. Pyros is there, man. Pyros just pulling something, a little something out of the toolkit. Just going to tie it up. Going off the sidewall. Still having his flip and Looks like he was sideways and he still got the flip. Honestly, honestly though, I don't know how he got that much power, but hey, it works. It works, it works. And that's what you love to see. We're tied up with only a minute 30 in this game. Four goals have happened, and that's honestly what we see a lot. Teams just struggling to adapt to these different maps, and oh my gosh, another one goes through, and the lead changes again to Team Voltero. Oh my gosh. Carlos, a great touch off back wall, and I mean, Voltero was there. A lot of a lot of risky pressure, but it pays off. It all takes just a little bit of risk and a little bit of reward. And sometimes it's just good for you. Other times it's not. But as at this moment, Team Voltero, it's just looking good for them. A good start here for both teams. But who will be able to adapt to the plus side? We'll see. Three minutes in. Or not three minutes in, but on the three minute mark. And it's just, just, just going to drop down on his app. And... You can see just how my brain is dying. I can't even, I don't even know English is easy. To be fair, English is a very hard language. It is, it is. And um, it may or not, may not be my first. I mean, with the way how you speak and your brain is, I would not be surprised. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for always supporting me. But yes, I'm your biggest, <laughs> biggest supporter slash hater. Yes. Oh, of course, of course. Dash off the wall. Oh, wait, straight to Gengar. Again with the redirect, but Paris is going to have it. They drop to midfield. Dap with the long clear. They go off the pillar to Pyros. Keeping it on the blue possession. Dap clear. Vesh deals with it, but it's going to be a touch out to Pyros. Pyros looking for Zap. Zap with a shot by Vesh with the pre jump save. Great work. But now Gengar, 50, but his Zap is still on it. Man. Refuses to give up, but it's gonna fall back in his half. Which, ooh, it was weird off the wall, but not able to make it happen. Bolt to Zap. Zap, flip reset in hand, trying it, but no, it's gonna be shut out. Maybe the little bit ping problem there as he's west, and this is running for my East computer server problems, maybe. Zap could not hit that one, though. But honestly, though, we're seeing just so much pressure from Team Voltero. They're just creating passing plays, going for these, just whatever. They're just trying to maneuver around, and it's important to watch. Wait, hold on, Vesh, Ooh. with the 50, but no, Zap is there, still able to keep it out. The defense is still there with the defense. Zap is there, Zap trying to get it by, but it's still not done, Ooh. and Pyros is there to clean it up. Three goal lead secured for Team Voltero. Zap, a beautiful dribble there downfield, and just the pressure stacks up, and all orange players are committed to that ball, and just can't get back to the second touch from Pyros. Good freaking looks from Team Voltero here. Oh, and they're going to do a Spanish. Voltero goes off the pillar in the wrong direction, though. Zap, I think, with downfield. That's hey, a good strategy there, and they're trying it. Um, just have to make it work maybe next time around. We'll see. We love to and see Ross teams going, trying different things. Yeah, you know, yes. Honestly, though, these maps, you already saw beforehand. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Stream did it. A little bit of strategy was already put into place. Looks like some teams are starting to just formulate what they want to do on these maps. Oh, yeah, of course. Zap already up for that. But just hits it straight back to an orange defender. And they're going to clear it straight back. Ping pong action going on. Gengar. Kind of stay with this. Doesn't have the boost. And, yeah, Team Vest just looks so awkward right now. Three goals down, and they do not look like they're going to get any other goals in this game, too. They just must have their heads headed into game three. Wait, okay, wait. Shut, shut me up, shut me up. And Eli's going to put that one. Just takes it himself, says, okay, I'm two, I'm two games. I've won two series. Let me just take this. My team can't do it. I'm going to do it. Let me put this in for you. 
It all starts with just one goal. There's still above 30 seconds left. About two goals around 50 seconds each and it's entirely possible, but with the way they look like and Zap just gonna do a little spinny, a little dangy, and it doesn't matter. Just gonna put it in re-securing that three goal lead. There we go. Three goal lead has returned and they must feel good during this last 25 seconds. I mean, they're, they're probably already thinking about game three too. I think it's Basin, if I'm not wrong. I, I think so. It is. It is. Basin, the player favorite map and honestly, a very good map. Um, but you know, people definitely struggle on it. If you, if you, like, I feel like Volterra. If I had to say anyone, Volterra will struggle because, well, I mean, anyone that's just like really into the walls is gonna struggle because you cannot read the walls very well at all. And time will tick down here. Hit off the pillar and maybe touch here. Maybe nope. Vesh keeps it up. Okay, the flick. <laughs> what Gengar with the same? Gengar, no! Man. Wait, maybe the what other way? Time? Wait, what Zap? do you be like that? Wait! Wait! Oh! oh Not if I put it through. Ah, oh, man, bud. That, that match, though, that was all Team Volterra. They just kept full control of that. So much pressure, so many plays just trying to develop and actually tell by just the shot difference. It's just, wow. Yeah. Hey, it's hey, interesting stuff can happen. And, I mean, that was just a pull. I mean, Team Volterra felt so good on this map. And Colossus, that's that's the number two map people have picked. The second favorite map. Um, Definitely one of my top four favorites. But, I mean, it's, it's good to see the players, you know, take so much of a liking to it. Yeah, you know, it was very surprising though. Out of all the pillar maps we have, it, it's Colossus that was up there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I I liked Hourglass first, but as I played more, it became just a love for Colossus. And now, Team Voltero looking for the sweep. Can they make it happen here? As we get ready for game number three, as Azel take it away. Well, they, it's going to come down to, well, if Team Volterra can repeat that performance or can Team Vesh just bring it back, at least get one game on the board. Don't want to go down in the second sweep, basically, but honestly, I would not be surprised just from the way of how Team Volterra has been playing. Yeah, I think people don't like this map immediately, but I mean, I don't know. It, it kind of depends who you are, because it's a love-hate relationship, but mostly a love relationship to this map people like it people see the potential and if you're a boost lover you must love this map i think there's uh what 12 boosts on this map or something like that it, it, it's wild 12 big boosts there's a lot yeah there is a lot yeah let's and see there's an extra three here. wait extra four on, wait extra three on each side yeah extra three on each side so yeah mm. yeah you know Hey boy, being a boost goblin like myself, I am very happy with this man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just have to have some sort of rotation on the wall to utilize that. But this is a huge map. I mean, I think this is the biggest map. So we'll see how well these players deal with that big a map. We've called it a 4v4 map, but um, people said that it's, it's a good 3s map, it's a good 2s map. Um, not a very good 1v1 map, but... Um, it, it has a lot of potential on all sides of things, and oh wait, Zap, a little bit dangerous here, and all orange players commit to it, but cannot find the goal, and yeah, teams are struggling off the bat here, a minute and a half over that has went by, and nothing found still, but oh my gosh, Vesh was downfield for the pass, and Eli and Vesh connect again. All takes is just a one little pass he play, and... Vesh just able to see Zab trying to pre-read his touch and just goes right next to him and for once Team Vesh they're gonna be the ones to score first. We love to see it. We'll see Gengar flip reset in hand takes it to the wall can't stay with it it's a little bit awkward there but doing okay. They're gonna be on the pressure again here. No Voltero relieving not with a lot of boost and get shut down from Eli. It's orange possession here, but they have to get this out and mount some sort of counterattack. It's on the wall. 
Finds a gap. And wait, this could be good. Off the backboard. Vesh miss. Eli. Maybe looking for Vesh here. Yet again. A touchdown. Eli there. Now Gengar lurking. Trying to get a read on what Voltero is doing. But oh, wait, a great play here. Pyros downfield. Can't get the read though. Almost reads it. But not quite. So I see players just adapting just a little bit. Just seeing how this ball just wants to maneuver around the map. And Team Voltero just try to get their first goal here. But Team Vest is just making it just very difficult. Just trying to break away. Just trying to get a play start. Because right now they're just starting to shut down everything Team Voltero wants to do. Yeah, Team Vi- oh, oh my gosh, close there, but Team Vesh, definitely I think the better team in this map, and it shows with the, the score, but they've just been so dominant in control of possession and keeping pressure on, I mean, they've just been good all around, and oh my gosh, that's another great pass, Vesh to Eli this time, and they put another one through, and yeah, just keeping the ball away from Team Voltero, and it is proving to be just, they're just in their element. You saw from the last map, it was all Team Voltero. This map, it's Team Vesh. Just each team are just training maps, just trying to see which team is bad on the map to this day. They're able to keep that one away for now. Eli winds up a shot, but to be saved there from Zap. Another great touch, but they're still keeping on the pressure. Gengar, beautiful there. Gengar definitely been more of a support player, just enabling Vesh and Eli to take this chemistry that they have and use it because honestly Team Vesh looking good and I mean Eli and Vesh I mean using the chemistry they amounted last time with their close series against Patty, Milio, and Taco Stash which by the way is another tournament team which I would say that might be the best team we have in the tournament at least so far. I mean, you have Taco Stash, who is currently undefeated in his show match history, and honestly, though, with him on your team and with the others that he has chosen, that team's most likely going to be the favorite going into the tournament. It's actually, uh, we call it Team Patty, but it was actually Melio putting it together. Oh. But wait, is that Toast? Wait, what was that? Hey, hold on, we were out. We we're out. This map now, Brink is back in. Gengar trying to clear it over in Voltaire. He tried to put it down, but Zap. He was able to read it and able to bring that lead down to one and 43 seconds left, Simpty boy. It's not over yet. Okay, good read and wait. Okay. Wait, nothing happens on the goal line for Team Orange. Didn't leave someone back on kickoff, but it'll make do with it. Vesh can't get the second touch, though, and Zap did read it. 30 seconds remaining. Can they find their goal to get back in this game three and complete the sweep? Or will it be Team Vesh? I mean, that has been evolving little by little and just adapting more to this map, I would have to say. We'll see the deal. Let's see. Voltero, shot! It's gonna go down! And I didn't even see what happened, but it looked like a misread on the goal line. Also, though, not many people are gonna expect it like that, and Voltero and Pyros, they were both up. Vesh and Eli, they're just stuck there trying to see which one was gonna hit the ball, and. Voltero, he's just gonna come through and put it over in. Honestly though, that is all you need. And unsurprisingly, once again, we're gonna be heading off into an overtime unless they want to keep this ball up for a very long Ooh, Oh, wait. It's, oh, I wait. don't know how that was up. It looked like it touched the ground. Okay, now we'll go to overtime. Game right. three overtime. We're here. Kick off. Looks like in favor of Team Voltero here. Pyros with the miss though. Could be lethal, it's gonna be a hard read, but Zap is able to get it. Vesh off the backboard, but Zap with it. Looking for Voltero, Voltero, good touch. Now Zap looking on the wall. Being very careful off the wall, smart. But wait, is that one just gonna go through? Yes it is, oh my gosh. Vesh, Vesh is gonna find the way through. The touch and just could not get through. <laughs> and they're not happy about that. Oh man. <laughs> Especially Voltero, that sit back there, so you know what, you know, just go next and well Cynthia boy, your um your prediction of series series going 
basically being a sweep, well, um, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a sweep, but I ate. I mean, we still have a series ahead of us, and you still believe it will be very close. But hey, we'll see. I mean, Team Vash did a very good job there in that game. Can they weed their way back into this? I mean, they could take the series here. It could be a reverse sweep on our hands, and that would not be what you want if your team Voltero right now. Hey, we need to ask them for a team name. I, I keep forgetting to ask people that, but definitely won't be Team Voltero when going in. This looks dumb. This looks about average to me. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Corridor is one of those maps that is another love-hate relationship, but I would say it's about equal. Corridor, I think, is the middle of the pack map, um, if it is a love or hate map. I think it's 7th out of the 14th map, so yeah, great down the middle. We'll see how these teams like it. It's going to be a breakaway chance, though, and it's not going to go in. It is not. Oh, no. Gotta hate that. And surprisingly, we have not had a goal yet, but it's going to be about... Who plays defense better here? For sure. Who will be able to win this? Who is going to keep, keep the pressure on offense and just keep out the attack? I mean, we I say, we talk about this map so many times, but I mean, it is definitely about clears. You want to clear it to the other person's half and keep the pressure. And if your defense isn't holding up, it's going to go down very quickly. It's so easy to make mistakes on this map. Yeah, this map is a very counter-attack heavy strat away. Hold on, the bomb play, gang on, just gonna bump Voltero out of the way. And that is one way to open up the scoreline. Great work there from Gengar. The bump cringe. <laughs> You're like, is this being recorded? <laughs> oh my gosh. What a troll, oh my gosh. Wait, Eli, flip reset possibly. No, can't. I'm very interested to see what they say about these maps, because I can't tell if they're not enjoying it or having fun. It seems like a bit of both. We'll see, we'll see. But Voltero is going to find the clear. Vesh. Ooh, looking for the double. Can't get it. It's going to be the clear. Voltero, a good touch. Keeping away from Eli. The second one, but Eli does find the save. Voltero, pass back. Eli, Eli shot, and there's a second goal for Team Vesh. They're trying to find their way back into the series. Sometimes, all is said, all you need are just one game, bring you back in, and Team Vesh starting to thrive, and Team Voltero just starting to crumble little by little, and Team Vesh, they're just gnawing a bit at him, just slowly chipping them down, trying to put it down Ooh. over, but Pyros, he said it's not done yet, able to put his team back in the line, and Pyros, gonna open up the score line for Team Voltero. Hey, that's one goal back and plenty of time. We know how things can escalate so quickly on this corridor map. We will see if that is gonna happen here. A double kickoff from Team Voltero now. Maybe trying to find a clear. No, can't. Gengar, still keeping pressure here. Vesh rips a shot. Zap is going to find the save. These corners are weird. It's so hard to get a read, but Eli is able to get a double there. And it is a two goal read lead back for Team Vesh. Very good work. Like a bump in that too. all like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, little bump action, little stuff like that, but... This map, it's going to find its way back in the middle of your net so quickly. There's not enough space, not enough room. Just have to put your head on a cylinder, just trying to see where the next car is coming from. Because if one shot's coming, another 10, it's going to be at you. Just got to be prepared for it. No, yeah, literally. And, oh, good challenge there from Eli. Gengar. Now, oh my gosh, rips a shot, but a zap with, there with a beautiful save. Eli now with the shot and pressure is stacking up fast and I think they're noticing how hard it is to play defense here. You do not have a corner to clear it too. It is just straight back into your box and yeah, that is that is tough but we'll see how they adapt. Team Voltero only halfway through the game so plenty of time to get back and they both go for each other on kickoff. Wait, the breakaway! Oh, what a save there from Vesh! 
a player that's been stepping up time and time again for this team. We'll see how they do. Just stepping up huge when needed to be. You thought they were done. You thought they were out, but Pyro's oh. once again gonna score. Just trying to keep the team alive. Once again, cutting it down that halfway there and just one goal at a time. Still have plenty of time to bring this back. Yeah, there's one goal from the three they were down. Now they have to keep any more goals from going to theirs and score at least two more here to get back into the series. Eli, who can't get the carry, but best good pressure. And this is going to stack up fast and prove to be very difficult. Double tap at template can, and now it's a breakaway chance. Pyros again on the counterattack. I think Zap has to touch that. He will get past the defender, and there's another one. The counterattack. I mean, it just funnels straight to the net. It just, it just really does. It's very much easy if the whole team's pushed up, and well, good luck getting back. One big Calirian just watching the ball find its way into their back of your own net, and Team Voltero slowly find their way back into this game. Team Vesh had all the momentum heading off to the first half of this game, and Team Voltero just able to respond, finding their way over. And honestly, though, can they just keep it up, or will Team Vesh just try to shut this one down, trying to complete this reverse sweep? Yep, back past the Pyros. Pyros looking for Voltero. Voltero dropped down. Oh my gosh, almost puts it in, but it's just off the three person passing play. Could not come through, and oh my gosh, they are linking up quite well on the map, and oh my gosh, another attempt from Gengar, not able to happen, but I mean, I think Zap, I mean, I think they're trying to play possession now, and you can see just how well they're keeping to the ball, and you know, just playing it away from the orange side as much as possible, but one goal to get still, pressure in the orange end, Zap pushes this side, but Vesh has possession. This is a little bit on the dribble, but regains. Beautiful stuff. Voltero looking for the clear, but straight to the orange opposition. And it's going to be off target. It's hard to miss here, but it is going to be a miss there. It was just so much pressure just building up, but nothing. Just able to come through with anything. And T. Voltero just trying to tie this up, at least trying to bring it to an overtime. Ooh, and Pyros is there! Ooh. Pyros is there! Zap with the pass and Pyros once again just stepping up. Zap a beautiful flick and Pyros is already ready for it. Beautiful stuff on the wall that's so close to the net. I mean, just read perfectly. Beautiful stuff. They have brought back the deficit and now it is level. But oh my gosh, a kickoff goal! No! It's gonna hit post! Almost a horrible goal to concede there. But Pyros with the long clear. No one back on Team Vesh. And that might be the series. Oh no, they keep it out. No way. He did not give up one more chance here. Get shut down. Still up. Pyros with the miss. Vesh with the clear. Voltero does opt to keep it up. But it's going to drop it immediately. We have game four overtime as Azel. Oh, Lord. I don't know how we got here. I don't know. It looked so much like Team Voltaire. They're going to shut it down, but the heroic are there and Gengar is there! Gengar snipes the net when no one was looking. The pressure amounted to the blue end, and Voltaire and Azap both thought they had it, but it's actually leave Pyros behind on defense by his lonesome, and Gengar able to put it in for the victory. Game 5, RMP Arena, we go. The boy. Sent the boy. Azazel. Boy. Azazel. You're, 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 you basically just called. You, you said, well, you said, yeah, you basically said Team Voltero, they're gonna, you know, go up like 2 0 or something like that. Then Team Vesh, you're gonna try to bring it back. Heading off to the game five. So let's see if your prediction can follow its way through fully. Well, I'm nervous about it, Azazel. I'm nervous. But we are in game five, something that, I mean, I didn't expect. I thought Voltero would make it close. I predicted the 3-1 or the 3-2, but I predicted Voltero to take the first three, which did not happen. They switched up. They 
But Team Bush actually won on base, and, and now we are met with a game five. It is not as close um, as I thought in the first three games, but now, I mean, it, it is just about as I predicted, and we will be getting a game number five here as players decide to ready up. Now, hey, Team Voltero had some tactics for this. We'll see what they try to do with those as game number five is off. Don't forget, this is going to be the weird uh, weird cam because you have to go player cam, just switching between all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, director cam does not work on us, so we'll be mainly switching. So sorry about that. If we get some bad camera angles or miss something, we're gonna try to do our best though. I'm not I'm not used to this at all. <laughs> but Voltero, that's a great touch actually. Eli looking for the clear over does not happen, and Voltero is there to put it away. And yeah, Eli just tried to get the clear here, but could not put it over the net. Tried to touch it on the hood, could not. That's gonna be one nothing to Dean Voltero here. Hey man, clears are so hard to get on this map. Because if you don't clear it right, it's going to find a way to the back here. Ned and Eli coming in with the own goal kickoff strats. And honestly, though, that is one strat just trying to make your opponent own goal off the kickoff because it is entirely possible to do so. Yeah, I mean, you you proved it so close every time. I mean, you, you take kickoffs against me and I you almost always make me own goal off kickoff. It is definitely possible, but when will it happen in a game like this? I am ready for it. I saw the strat early. Now people see the uh, strat now, and it's only a matter of time before one of them goes in. We'll see, we'll see. Again, we are staying on this. Fetch, good touch. Can he stay with? No, Zap, a good clear. Voltero. Oh, that is not a good touch, though. Gengar trying to pre flip. It's dangerous times here, and Eli is going to put it away for Team Vesh. Sometimes it's just those clears, just not able to get the good clear. And Pyros, he's trying to do all he could, but just was not enough. Couldn't quite get the touch he wanted, and Eli is just there. He's just going to put it away, just tying this game back up once again. Yeah, it's been so close throughout the series. I think maybe Basin was the one. Was that the one that was um, kind of close? But we'll see. We see Zap playing the midfield role here, just like the Kep does a lot of the time. And it gets bumped. Let's see how Team Blue defends here. Zap finds the clear momentarily. Vesh now with a flick, looking for someone. Voltero does find the clear. Can he still find it? Yes, gets it past midfield. That is huge. Now Pyros on the counter. This is a chance. Pyros trying to get the clear up to Voltero. Voltero is there. That ball trying to find its way, but. It gets cleared, but it's still on the orange side. But Gengar finally able to get the clear over and Zap just try to get three to oh over. No. Vesh is there oh, yeah. and it's just gonna find its way over and Vesh credit the Zap for the pass, just gonna put it away. Yeah, I'd say Zap did not get touch he wanted there. I mean, I think he played a little bit too far up in midfield and it missed the read on the wall there. Two mistakes. And it's going to lead to a goal. It can escalate so quickly on this map as soon as it gets to the other person's half. It's just how quick other teams can adapt to that. Oh, Eli. Oh, Eli, close. Yeah, sent it, boy. You know what? I'm thinking for chat saying, you know what? They say I solo on this map. There's no difference about it. So, you know what? Not bad. What did I say? Oh, you know. You know, I, I saw everybody on here on this map. It's easy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can be you're the best player on this map in the world. In the world, honestly, Zazel. Put, we'd put you in here, but then you'd throw every other map, and we don't want that, so. <laughs> what? No, you, I'm, you, not you, a, I'm not a thrower. I mean, the only map, if, if Lupo was still around, I'd probably throw so we could get there. You. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. But, oh, wait, Voltero, a great read. Now Zap is up. Touchdown. Looking for something, but... Still nothing able to occur, and struggles are happening, but Team Voltero still trying for a flick, and Pyros is able to put it in. I don't know how he was able to get the space for that, but was able to get it. 
and no one challenging really. Yeah, that flick just find its way into the top left. And Pyros, once again, he's just been the step up player for Team Altera. Whenever they're down, whenever they feel like hope is lost, Pyros, he's always there stepping up, just bringing it back and just trying to keep his team in this as much as Ooh. he can. Zap almost gets it to Pyros there. Can't quite make it happen. But Voltero, downfield. <laughs> As you see Pyros mess it up there on my camera. But, oh wait. Okay, Eli is taking them to himself. Still, I mean, players just looking a little bit awkward, but making, you know, things happen little by little. Adapting is the name of the game, as so many of these players have not played on these maps before. Yeah, every strategy is just coming at whenever they see is possible, just wanting to make every little do of what they can and what they know how to. And Zab just trying any play, just trying to develop anything, but getting shut down at the mark and about 40 seconds left, there's still a chance. Zap, he has a chance for this, but Gengar, get the clear over, Vesh is there. Vesh, try to put it over, Vesh is oh there, Vesh! God. He just gonna put it down. I switched point of view, Sky. I thought it was a pass, but no, Vesh stays with it beautifully. Playing the Decap roll midfield and does a beautiful job of keeping that to himself. Gets the pitch down and Team Vesh look to be winning the series. And they are doing amazing so far. Team Vesh, they were down out to be getting half of this series. Then out of nowhere, it took one map just one game victory and the floodgates have just opened for them they just been just everywhere just giving team Voltero a tough time they're right again nice and easy but it's not there 10 seconds left any play needs to develop any zero second goal anything needs to happen Voltero oh. back to the oh. Oh. Zap, Zap is not there it's oh. not there the play doesn't connect and with that team veg complete this reverse sweep Hey, there we go. That is the series. And oh my gosh. Who thought Team Vesh would be coming out on top here? Hey, very, very good stuff there. And <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? That, that defines that. <laughs> Man. Voltero. I can't. It's, it's really hard to tell if Volt is trolling or he's. Have a time of his life. It's hard to say, but we'll you know drag what? It's, 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 it's just a bit of both. We can say that a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. We'll drag everybody up here. We'll see if they want to interview. If you guys need to go, you guys are welcome to. But I'd like to get your guys' thoughts on things, how they went. But what a series! Actually, really close the whole way through. I think one map it was not. I, I can't remember. My brain is so dead. But I mean, the second one, I think, or the first. Yeah, yeah. One of them was like. Someone won by like three goals, but hey, I mean, you guys definitely adapted to those maps as they went on, but it's hard, it's hard, especially as first time players, um, as some of you are, but I mean, I think Vesh, Eli, I mean, a few times you guys' is, I mean, experience in these had true, showed in like your chemistry even did, um, but I mean, if we walk through the maps, I mean, how are you guys feeling about each one? Anyone you guys hated? I, I saw, uh, saw some both with pillars. Hate. Both with I pillars, see. really? Okay. Yeah, no, don't like that. Yeah, no. I, I don't like the first yeah. one. You guys didn't like corridor, the, the really long one, or was that? I would feel uh, like no, I was like, was like yeah, was this fun. looks dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't like Basin. Basin one was what? Basin was the best. Basin was I, the best one I had. No, like that Basin. that was no fun. No way. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're a wall clear, every back wall, yeah. yeah, every wall clear could just go anywhere. It's just a complete, complete guess. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You was red one, but yeah, if you're a wall player, you rely on that at all. Basin is not the map for you, but Basin is actually the fan favorite right now, or the player favorite right now by far. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is very much like, <laughs> but um, yeah, quarter the when I was really long, I, you guys struggled a bit because if you overcommit, you're just screwed because the ball just it just funnels to the net, and it's so <laughs> hard to clear too because the midfield is so there's not much room to clear. We'll, we'll we'll say that, but 
Um, There's so much boost, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, so starting with Hourglass, the first map, you guys did or did not like that one? I heard some. You guys didn't like that. Yeah, it was mid. It was mid. It was mid. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was alright. Yeah, I honestly would not have that one in the pool if it was up to me. Um, but Colossus is kind of like the opposite. The second map with the two bigger pillars. How did that feel? I think that was worse than the first one. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. That is the second player favorite, actually. Okay, okay. Definitely, definitely interesting. Basin. I mean, everybody like that butt pyros I hear? <laughs> I, I do not like that one. <laughs> cool. I like the pillar ones, funny enough. So apparently, yeah, my, I just have the wrong opinions here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody has very. I haven't seen one like vote that's been answered that is like they like someone else's. They're all like very different. Um, it's interesting. It's interesting. And then RMP Arena, the the workshop map. How's how'd that feel? That was pretty good. I liked it. Liked it. Yeah. That was pretty nuts from Vesh right there. The the ground pitch. <laughs> hey, but it was a good. I'm my ceiling shot it didn't go in. <laughs> <laughs> we had that last second we had that last second yeah. chance oh, and it yeah. just it stuttered like half a second yeah oh, that was so crazy. Shot. that was sad <laughs> we gotta run that, that back saving it doesn't matter we gotta run it back come on come on For real. <laughs> i want to get back <laughs> hey not today not today hey we'll, we'll just replay mod it it's okay um <laughs> that's true yeah yeah but yeah um yeah, but hopefully the tournament, um, I mean, everyone's pretty new to these still. Hopefully the tournament, um, this like helped a little bit with practice going into it. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see if anyone practices or um, has any strategies going into it. I think the team that does prepare better will win, but it might, it might, might be completely wrong. Maybe someone just goes in completely with no strategies and just takes it. Who knows? That's what, that's what we're trying to test and figure out um, how, you know, how valuable and how much potential this kind of format has. So, yeah, thank you all for helping me test it and hopefully we get a pool for the tournament and it goes well. But, um, yeah, any final thoughts from anyone? Before we wrap up the stream? No, nothing for me. No, no? Nope. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect, perfect. All right, we'll, we'll think about a chat. <laughs> Bye, chat. Bye, chat. Bye.